The class burst into laughter. Way ahead of you. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal. This is bullshit. <laughs> Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Uh-huh. Mm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart, but tough, is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind of treat? Okay, the beef treat is out of here. The rubber ball is racist. Give that motherfucker a chicken snack. Mm. Are you sure? Yes. Chicken snack it is. Chicken snack! You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Booyah! Boy! <laughs> Look at how fucking cute he is, too. Like, oh, oh fucking it. Ted Cruz would be proud. That, like, that is like Steve Carell and Ted Cruz's baby. <laughs> He's got a fucking tumor head. <laughs> well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coat of warm doggy drool. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay them no mind. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times, as see, one does. if this wasn't licensed by KFC, that dog would be a fuckable character, and I'm not for it. <laughs> Settle down, young chefs. <laughs> Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh! Hey, Taco Bell, there's a seat. There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Ooh, boy! Two good options. I'm mad that you but get this which decision. will you choose? Shit! <laughs> I think sit we all know. Sit by me, Taco Bell. Look, if we no, sit, sit by me. I don't know how. I don't know how extensive this game is because if I sit by him, is he gonna think I'm trying too hard? If I sit by her, does she think I'm gonna think fall of in it love in with terms her? of Telltale? They will remember that. I think I want to sit by him. I want to fuck him. Okay. Look at him. He's okay, a fucking sex magnet. How many dating sims have you played? None. The good end is the hardest for a reason, but if you don't stay 100% to the good end, you will not get to the good end. I'm picking Colonel Sanders. Pick Colonel Sanders. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. He's got one in his fucking shoulder pocket! <laughs> <laughs> However, his perfect upright posture shows off his shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask His me. His goddamn but, forearms. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's fucking rough and tough, bro. His hands! <clears throat> as soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz! Isn't it the first day of class and he's already given a pop quiz? Is Pop gonna say some shit? Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, a quiz about me! I fucking knew it, you fucking <laughs> asshole! <laughs> This is an incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz. Well, tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school of witchcraft and wizardry. You're keep a wizard, your, Colonel. Keep your <laughs> knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. Brad, this is you. Ooh. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. <laughs> Shit on Pop every chance you get. <laughs> That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather, is what I would say. That's right. <laughs> what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork. 
wait a minute, I really want to pick a comically oversized <laughs> spork, but it's a goddamn spork because they don't have sporks or knives or uh, spoons at KFC. They only use sporks. So is spork your dog? Yes, your choice? absolutely. That's right. <laughs> Don't test the fat ass what on food. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as the long famous as bowl. a The famous bowl. A pancake that looks like a silly face. Mm. Camel meat or anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Ah, I'm thinking this one. That's, that's what it wants you to do. Hell yeah. It sprinkles a good boy. He's the best boy. <laughs> so you want... Yes. That's right. I fucking knew it. Your total score is five out of five. Hell yeah. We high fived. <laughs> Come on. The skip button. Oh, and I, I wow, you have to click on it, you dick. <laughs> wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? No. I'm fat. I know you what look, KFC does. You look up to see that Colonel Standards has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Oh. I know we just met. But I have to confess, I think you have a beautiful brain. Oh my god. He fucking loves me. Did you see the heart emojis? I did. Uh -huh. I saw him. Alright, we're getting Hot some. diggity, Taco Bell. <laughs> Hot diggity! And you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Ooh. May I have Maybe your attention, have your students? I have an important announcement to make. Well, have Time for lunch. Oh! Wow, the cafeteria is wait, as nice as any restaurant. Wait, what? Wait, what? it says the Stewart Cafeteria. Yeah, the Martha Stewart Cafeteria. <laughs> How do you know it's Martha Stewart? Why wouldn't it be? I don't have enough info on this game to argue that, so I'm just gonna go with what you're saying. You know what? It might. She might pop <clears throat> up. We never know. It's a fucking anime game. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would be. They've been working serious. on this game since 2015. Uh, probably not. I doubt it. You really think it took them that long to make this? Absolutely no, not. No, th they came up with the idea in 2015. Maybe. I believe that. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No. I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was. And he gets keeping, he keeps getting cut off, so that means he's important somehow. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. God damn it. <laughs> she said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled! <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue in this game is just fantastic. It's fucking great. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, wait, waiting to see Ooh, what food this smell. mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders Ooh. lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Oh, shit. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy, golden finish. Mm. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. No. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a <laughs> novel concept. concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper. Did you know that, like... And is scribbling notes as fast as they can. When I worked at KFC, like, the actual 11 herbs and spices was, like, some real dank shit secret. They couldn't tell anybody who was working there that only, like, 25 people in the world know that fucking secret. It's kept in a fucking vault. It sounds like something they would do, like, with the Coca-Cola recipe, I imagine. Yeah, but it's, like, it, it's fucking chicken. It's not Coke. It's a goddamn drumstick. 
Like, it's not that deep. I don't know, man. You ever had KFC? I mean, I have. It's pretty borderline okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot better than the fucking golden chick we got here. That's true. I, I we, we actually don't have a KFC anymore, but I, I miss We're it. We're building one. Where? Right there in the fucking... Guys, we're going to have to cut this out later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But that's all I'll say about that. What you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pishaw! Nah, my dude. Nah. You do a really good bad Ben. <laughs> bad Ben. <laughs> I'm bon just bon. Uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> he looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Look at his fucking face! <laughs> if that's not the thumbnail, I fucking quit. <laughs> oh, that's fucking good. That's fucking good shit right there. So good that... <laughs> you know. That's a wallpaper right there. Ooh. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow Ooh. up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change God damn from that thigh. <laughs> and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Not with that sharp tooth. She's fucking evil. Oh, please! <laughs> Look, Adam's about to be home. He's going to yell at you for being so loud. I love it. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want it. I'll, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes Holy one shit! Bite. <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. He's using his stand. Easy now. There is enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Side. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Oh. <laughs> Do alone with, your, turn alone it was? with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on, the, meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Save it a moment. Tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Not that one. The middle I'm one. I'm thinking savor the moment and yeah. everything that tells you yeah, about it. Yeah, that him. one. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, and heavenly. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. He's got a fucking chicken staff. <laughs> I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. Whoa. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He looks so disgusted. Look at that fucking face! It looks like I just whipped my dick out in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use cum. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. 
<laughs> Say it! Come! Wow. <laughs> You'd never have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you said <laughs> <laughs> The best answer. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. I hate to, like, break in this, but did you know that Colonel Sanders fucking hated KFC? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't... It's like they were disparaging his brand, and he's like, this tastes like fucking crusty asshole. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, anything. There's about... lore on KFC. Okay, you just keep fucking going. So, wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Neg him to show your own strength. Be modest and thought thoughtful. I'm thinking wow him with a big idea. Um, you can't change up the 11 herbs and spices. I'd say be modest but thoughtful. It's a big idea, though. He's going to say something like new Coke or fucking Dorito-flavored chicken. No, no, I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to get a bad end if we pick this one. I don't think so. Do whatever, man. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. Oh. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Oh, this might not... Oh! Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe? And you think you can do better? First of all, he didn't even say it like that. Look how scared he is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? I knew he was going to say some dumb shit. <laughs> heard of them. I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, pro bono, cayenne. But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. A recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to... I knew you fucked up, you dumbass. <laughs> Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. That certainly didn't go as planned. I fucking called it. <laughs> You'd better head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. 